Hey all, today I'm here with a fun tutorial themed on Geologist Day which is celebrated on the first Sunday of April and I am a student of Geology so I just thought why not do a Geologist theme nail art and in this video I have collaborated with my junior who is also from the department of Geology from the same university. So let's get started with the tutorial. So for this nail art I have chosen light earthy shades as my basis and I'm starting off with this nail where I will be drawing the geological hammer first and then let's move on to our one of the favorite things that is a Branton compass an integral part of all field trips that helps us to know the direction. So next I have the specimens or the samples that we collect from field and we are always very excited about collecting rock samples. These are different types of rocks and these are one of the main tools for interpreting whatever we see in the field after we get back home. Now working under the sun for long hours is impossible without a big protective hat so that's what I am drawing. To get a good grip on the rocky and the harsh terrains, you obviously need a good field shoe. Now rulers and measuring tapes are very important for measuring that succession you see or for measuring distances. Now on this nail I am going to draw a stratigraphic sequence and I am going to add some structural elements like folds and faults and I did not really think through much while drawing this uh, succession so after I complete it I hope you can tell me in the comments whatever you interpret from this if you are a geology student of course. So I'm trying to draw some faulted straight over here and as far as I can see a fault is succeeded by a fold so this most probably can be explained by a thrust system only otherwise you know that the lower layer should have also been folded like the upper fold. Now let's also throw in some fossils because you cannot ignore paleontology. Okay, so cannot forget plate tectonics which is a very important part in geology. So here comes subduction zone and you can see the volcano right there and the accretionary prism in front of it. I haven't really gone into the details of fore arc and back arc basins but I hope you can see the subducting plate and here comes the ocean and the magma and the lava spilling out so much like Pacific Rim of Fire. So after the convergent boundary it's time for the divergent one and I'm drawing the normal folds on the mid-oceanic ridge and do you know that the mid-oceanic ridge comes on land in a place called the Thingvilli National Park in Iceland where Game of Thrones was also shot. Now this nail art will not be complete if I do not draw earth so that's what I am doing because geology is basically earth science so you cannot skip drawing earth and after that i'm going to draw a map or a topo sheet or whatever you call it without it field work is not complete and finally i'll draw a couple of crystals because just like it mineralogy you know so that was all for today guys and if you are a geologist watching this video do let me know in the comments how you found this one if you found this relatable or not and do share it with your other geology friends and if you are not a geologist then I hope you got to know a little something about geology and please do share it with your geology friends as well and uh, tell me in the comments whether you are a student of geology or not or whether you have heard about this subject or not. So see you guys super soon with another video, till then take care, bye.